compression depression let's get into it Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. So this is just a quick update video on the Kawasaki Marawaki project build. Uh, so just going through the engine and the electrics, I've uh, basically got the uh, starter hooked up to a, a battery. So it is powering over the engine if you watch my, uh, my short as well. But I'm just checking the compression on each of the cylinders. So three of the cylinders, are actually reading about 60 psi which i think is well down anyway i'm not sure if it's my compression tester that's uh up the duff uh or whether 60 psi is about right uh, i've got a feeling it should be in the region of about 160 something like that um but so i could be completely wrong and i've tried to have a look at the manual couldn't find it in there and i've tried to do an online search and it's anywhere between 140 150 to 180 uh which seems to be quite high but there we go i could be way off on that so if you do know what the compression figure should be let us know on the z750 uh, dual overhead cam it's a 1982 engine anyway however number one uh cylinder there is uh, completely uh zilch nothing there so um i've either got a, a big issue with the uh the piston the the rings uh or it's the valves uh which are um need adjusting uh or it's basically uh the valves that could be broken or they could just be leaking through the valves as well i mean for it for it to have absolutely nothing then this seems to be a big issue there so there's going to be a bit of a bit of an investigation here so this is going to have to come off and then first of all i'm going to check all the clearances on the valves see how we go with that and uh well take it from there but it could be that i'm gonna to have to strip the whole engine apart which is something that i'm was hoping i wouldn't have to do um if everything was okay if the compression was okay then and it's still turning over then basically it should be okay just to get the engine running but if that cylinder is at zero then obviously i need to investigate that uh i've gone through some of the electrics uh basically what i'm going to do with the electrics is basically chop it all down to its bare fundamentals uh just to get the engine running and to get the obviously the battery charging up and all that sort of stuff thereafter i'm gonna add uh circuits for the lighting and so on and so forth so it's going to be like a, a chopper cafe racer uh, electrical system. Just going to cut it all back to the basics and then just add circuits out on when I need it. So that's something that I've kind of already figured out. I've already drawn out my own little uh, electrical wiring diagram for it. Uh, so the next thing really is just to get the uh, the the uh, the uh, the valves exposed and just measure the uh, the clearances. Right, let me do that. Uh, basically nothing great uh yeah so i've checked the uh the clearances here uh it seemed to be in spec uh even number one seems to be in spec as well but what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to it really depends the book says it really depends what shim size i've got in there so either somebody's put in a wrong shim size uh, and it's not matching the rest or uh, the pistons completely uh, kaput as well. Um, so it's gonna have to all come apart, I'm afraid. It's not what I really wanted to do, but there we go, those are the breaks. So there we go. Um, you know, I suppose the point of this video really is to uh, make sure that you've got a, a reasonable engine before you start sticking it in a frame. Make sure it's all turning over, uh, take the time to check your valve clearances but also 
your compression on uh, all your cylinders as well. Make sure you've got good compression because otherwise you'll be putting an engine into a frame and then you're going to have to take it out again. So just, you know, cover the bases uh, or minimize the potential problems that you might have before you get it into uh, the frame. Well, whether that's right or not, I don't know, but that's why I would do it. And that's basically what I've been doing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but there we go. So sometimes you know, just doing some bench testing like this, even if it's quite rudimentary, it'll save yourself a lot of pounds, dollars, shekels later on down the road. Anyway, so uh, that's it. Bench testing, valve clearances and compression uh, on your cylinders. That's how you do it. You need a compression tester. Maybe one that works a bit better than this one. I don't know. But if you know what the compression should be for a Z750, uh, this is a KZ engine, it's a KZ750 uh, E1, I think this is. Uh, let us know what it should be, uh, say, but I'm sure I'll find out in the fullness of time. But it'd be nice to know if you guys could uh, lend a hand with that. Right, anyway, uh, on to the next job, which will be stripping this apart. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share. Check out the website, revelator.com. Till then.